Continuing your education after high school is one of the most important decisions for your future. However, going to college can be challenging. Pursuing higher education can be especially difficult without legal immigration status. Undocumented students don't qualify for most forms of financial aid and are ineligible in a lot of states for many services or are not allowed to attend college at all. I can't file the FAFSA since I don't have a social security number. I can't actually do that. Um, federal, any federal aid, any federal grants, any loans, uh, I'm unable to apply. So finding funding was, was one of the hardest things for me. I, uh, I had to look. I look under rocks, if you will, to pay for, for school. Here in the state of Washington, there's good news. Since Governor Gary Locke signed House Bill 1079 in 2003, undocumented students have the right to attend college and pay in-state tuition. If this law applies to you, you need to know your rights. Students who have lived in this state for three consecutive years prior to graduating from a Washington State High School and have been accepted into a state college or university are considered state residents. Even though this doesn't change your legal immigration status, you are able to pay in-state tuition. This law empowers you as a student, grants you the legal right to receive higher education and access the resources you will need. In Washington State, many schools are prepared with resources targeting your specific needs. I am eligible for private scholarships, and like I said, I'm very lucky that I have been receiving a lot of them. It's a long process, it takes a lot of applying, letters of recommendation, a good GPA, and um, a resume. You will need to start preparing as soon as possible, get good grades, get involved in your community, and save money. While in high school, see if you can enroll in the Running Start program. Every class you take through this program counts for college credit as well as high school credit. You can live at home and save money by going to a community college and then you can transfer to a four-year institution. It is a lot of work, but receiving a college degree is possible. Don't be discouraged. It's, it's going to be tough. It's going to be, like I mentioned, an uphill battle, but you can do it. If you have the willingness to do it, you will be able to do it. When you apply or have been accepted to a college or university, sign the 1079 affidavit form so that you can pay in-state tuition. The affidavit opens doors to people who can help you. All schools have different ways to help 1079 students. You don't have to be afraid to sign this document. Knowing your rights will help you get through college. There is hope. Look at me, look at other 1079 students on campus. Within us there is hope, there is light at the end of the tunnel, that is for sure. Don't give up. If we were able to do it, others will be able to do it as well.